Hello everyone, I'm Sanai Lars from Skilling Future. Welcome to another episode of Tech Type Tuesday. Today I'm going to walk you through Chalky AI. I do know that as educators and as trainers, we're always looking for platforms that we can either experiment with or we can also suggest it to other people as well. So have a look at what this platform can do for you. So Chalky AI, one of the good things, one of the things that I really like about Chalky AI is the simplicity that it offers. That is its strongest route. You can start off with this, designing a sing single lesson. You can do a lesson series and you can design worksheets as well. So let's start off with a single lesson. I'm using the free version. If you want to upgrade, you can upgrade it to a pro version as well. So I want to renewable energy. Uh, then you can choose your grade level from kindergarten to adult learners. It can go ahead till there. There are other languages that it can support. And I do believe that as the platform evolves, other languages are going to be added to it. You can add in additional instructions or you can click on the AI and have a lesson outline generated for you. If there are any resources that you're planning to use, you have them on your drive or you want to upload them, you can do that. I do not have them at the moment. And I'm just going to click continue. In the free version, there are 10 slides that it generates. Uh, however, you can add in additional uh, slides once your lesson is generated. I want to include learning objectives. I want to include key vocabulary. Um, so for example, I want to also add, want to add sustainability here. Uh, you want to add in any other information you can do so. Uh, with respect to YouTube video, it's available in the pro version. However, there's a catch and I'm going to show you how you can work with that. Um, you can select a theme that you believe can work really well for your lesson. I'm going to select this one. If you don't like it afterwards, you can change it. So the thing that's really very good about the Jockey AI platform is the customizability that it offers from the text to the images. And even afterwards, if you don't like the theme, you can change the theme. You can add in any additional information. So it's not that you are uh, going to be restricted to the 10 slides that the free version is going to give you. There are, you can add slides afterwards as, you can add slides afterwards as well. For example, um, this is what the title slides look like. I feel like, okay, I want to change the image. You can just click swap image. It is going to offer you some categories. You don't uh, want something from here. I'm going to, okay, I want to select this one and it is going to swap that. It's going to swap that. I'm coming towards learning uh, objectives and it's they're grade five students and I feel like I want to edit them. You can change, again, the text. You can change uh, any other formatting ed, uh, elements that are present. I want to make it a little bit more fun for my learners and it is going to do that for me. Example, discover how the magical renewable energy, and this is how it is going to work out. Now, um, I did tell you that, okay, I'm going to show you guys a catch in terms of how you can uh, how you can work around with the YouTube element. Click add slide here, and then click add a blank slide. And on the side, you would see that there is a YouTube button here. You, The only thing that you have to do is you have to find a video beforehand, uh, and just click it and add it here in your lesson. And there you go. You also have your video added. Now, once you have that, for example, I feel like here we have talked about this, but I want the information on the site. I want to edit it with AI and I want that to expand on the content. And it is going to expand on the content, maybe even provide some more information. And you can edit it yourself as well, or you can have the AI edit the uh, have AI edit the information, and then you can see that how it has done so. Um, here I feel like I want to add in an activity. Do I want to add a quiz? Uh, maybe three lessons based on uh, three questions based on what students have covered till yet, and then it is going to do that for you. And the answers are and the answers are also there. Um, there is match the words. Some of the activities have already, uh, some of the activities are already there. But if you feel like that, okay, at the end, um, you want to create worksheets for the lesson and then you want to see how students are working out, you can either work on an activity. For example, you want to add in an open-ended question. 
again, that is also there. Imagine you're in charge of powering your town in the future, which renewable energy source will be to choose and why. And this is something that can, again, help students start off a debate with something. Again, you can, you have the space of customizing aspects. You want to add in a worksheet um, and you have the choice of multiple choice, open-ended, GAFL, and a variety one is a good, good space, good, good, um, good option. You can choose the level and you can even ask it to provide you with correct answers and then select create the worksheet. Um, you can either create the worksheets within the lesson if you want to do them separately that within the start of the start where I selected lesson, you would have seen that there was a worksheet option there as well. So you can create the worksheet separately as well. There you go. You have MCQs, you have open-ended questions, you have um, you have vocabulary components. So it is going to do all of that for you. And you would see that, okay, how it saved you time. And along with that, what are the different other options that it provides you along the way and the element of customizability that is present. And I shared that, okay, you can even change the theme. So just select the theme and you can change the theme as well. And there you go. And you can export it as in the form of Google Slides, PowerPoint Slides, or PDF. So again, depending on what works out for you, you can go ahead and uh, work on things accordingly. Uh, so do check Chalky AI out and do let me know how it works out for you. Looking forward to seeing that, okay, how you experiment with the platform and how is it that it works out for you. Uh, looking forward to meeting you guys soon with another video.